Hello, my name is Alex Flynn, and I am a freshman at Keystone School in San Antonio, Texas. This is my letter for the Dear Poet submission. Dear Miss Marie Howe, my name is Alex and I'm a freshman in high school. I read your poem, Singularity. The longing for simplicity that you described spoke to me. Our world is so crammed with information, people, objects, plants, animals, and everything imaginable. We rarely, if ever, truly see the beauty in it. Maybe our news, our social media, our worries, our insecurities, maybe it's all just a vice to put off the pressure of living in our beautiful world. Your poem made me rethink the beauty of the earth, our grand mass of atoms and empty space. The sunsets, the butterflies, the green grass, the cold, wet snow, it's all just atoms and empty space. In your poem, you talk about how blissful it would be to live in a singularity. I can't imagine what a singularity would be, everything so close together, every single atom in the entire universe with no space. But isn't space what makes things magical? Space makes me human. How come I am not the inchworm crawling across an orange blossom, inhaling its sweet scent through tiny nostrils that I'm not entirely sure exist? How is it that I'm a human instead of a giant squid roaming the dark depths of the ocean? How is it that my atoms turned out to be human instead of the beetle scurrying through my dark garage in summer, hoping that with every ounce of its body, it won't get stepped on? How is it that I didn't turn out to be a seahorse choking to death from plastic? How is it that I didn't turn out to be the last right white rhino destined to die with none of my kind, living out the epitome of loneliness? Maybe a singularity is bliss. No death, no suffering, no sadness, no anger. Maybe if all of those atoms were smashed together, something magical would happen and everything would be okay again. Everything would be okay, but not beautiful, not joyful, not happy, not colorful. There would be no night spent baking and laughing until you collapsed on the kitchen floor with your best friend. There would be no night spent outside a cabin in upstate New York, on the lakeshore looking up at millions of stars. There would be no sunset bike rides, no butterflies in your stomach, no favorite TV shows, no Christmas mornings, no night drives with the windows open blasting out your music to the world, and no love. You may be thinking that this letter is full of contradictions, and it is, but then again, so is the world. Earth is a messy mass of atoms sloppily splashed in between space. Our lives are constantly a game of chance. Maybe someone else rolls the dice, or maybe it's just us. Us love to deal with the bad decisions, the mistakes. A singularity would solve all of our problems. It would also destroy the problems, the solutions, the befores, the afters, the beginnings and the endings. I hope you read my letter and know that your poem made me rethink my life. And now the sky outside my window is dark. There's cicadas clustering outside my window, drawn in by my desk light. And I can no longer see the silhouette of the oak tree that has stood in my front yard all my life. My fingers are weary of this keyboard and sitting at this desk alone has made me stiff. I should probably get to sleep now and dream of all of our atoms melding together into one singularity or as you gracefully put it, all everything home. I can't thank you enough for your writing. Alex Blinn.